Hello and welcome. My name is Thea Cannon and this is my 98th testimony for the Elohim of Yahweh. I'd like to start with a prayer please for protection yeah, over me while I speak. For the Father, for Yeshua through the rule of Gokadesh. So Yahweh please, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule of Gokadesh Yahweh, could you please, Yahweh, put your hedge of protection around me and guide me from what I need to say? I wish to be a vessel for you and speak your words, Yahweh, here on earth, as it is in your home, Yahweh, the mouth to view, Yahweh. Yahweh will. Fuck you, bitch. That there was from Satan, Hashem, to towards me. And that is the enmity between the woman's seed and the snake, as written in scripture, which started for me at the three and a half year mark of my spiritual battle which did start just after my water baptism yeah after I did my first testimonies yeah and really when I look back at my first testimony I was looking to Satan too yeah I was unaware at that time of directional thoughts and it wasn't until I went through my spiritual battle and the Father and Yeshua through the rule Kakadesh had me watch them. And I realised that every time I was looking to the left, I was listening to Satan. And I found that written in scripture. And I tested and tested and tested those thoughts because at first I didn't realise the directions. Yeah. Father and Yeshua didn't show me the directions, that key information, until about the three year mark. So I'd been testing my thoughts in my head, every thought that came into my head before that. Testing them. Yeah. How does one test the thoughts? When a thought comes into your head about something, about you, or about a loved one, about a situation that's happened, or maybe you're sitting there imagining things that could happen in the future. You've taken that from me, yeah. Okay, sorry. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to rewatch that one myself. If they let me come back to it, I'll come back to it. Hmm. Because, yeah. The Father, Yahweh, He's only Bain and Hamashiach, Yeshua, Emmanuel, our Adonai. Fuck you, bitch. Through the rule of Kodesh, fathers, Holy Spirit, fuck you, bitch. Who <laughs> have been showing me some certain scriptures and translations for them. Fuck you. And mostly Satan's identities. Fuck you, bitch. You see, it is written in scripture that symbols would be their downfall. Fuck you. You. <laughs> yeah. And I've been led to a few different people this week, yeah. I'd like to give a shout out to them because I found their work really good, yeah. And the Father and Yeshua through the Royal Kokodesh got me to praise Yahweh for them and for them being able to listen and hear so well. Fuck you, bitch. We'll do a shout out to Shattered Paradise. Fuck. Excellent work. Great connections. I've got a few more for you. Fuck you, bitch. God rules. Nearly there. But I don't believe you about the thousand year reign that you believe in your head to be true. Fuck you. Go to the Father and see if he agrees with you. Fuck you, bitch. I don't believe. That Yeshua has already been down here and had his thousand year reign because that doesn't reason out or make sense. Fuck you! Yeah. It's not within scriptures. It's got to fit. Fuck! Yeah. So, I will go into detail about that because there's something you keep bringing up. Mm. The Iron Age. Fuck you, bitch! And why there's never been information about the Iron Age. 
is roughly the age just after Yeshua. Fuck you. See, Yeshua spoke to his follow followers about the hidden knowledge that was kept from them. Fuck you. Well, it really wasn't kept from them back then. They all knew about it and spoke about it. They all read these scriptures. Fuck you, bitch. They go away, hear someone speak about it, come back and tell their community about what they'd heard. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. So, the Book of Enoch and so forth was talked about, was read by the Jews. Fuck you. It was the Pharisees that tried to ban it. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Oof. Or should I say Constantine, the Roman emperor who decided to make up all the books of the Bible. Fuck you, bitch. Father still used that. But, yeah. There's a lot of things out there that could be tested. Fuck you. So, the Iron Age. Yeah. Because at that time, Yeshua had been speaking about forgotten knowledge, links that others hadn't seen. Remember, he spoke to them all about the den of vipers, the Pharisees. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. They knew it too. Fuck you, bitch. See, then I have to come back to what they've just shown me. And this is where Shattered Paradise comes in. Fuck you, bitch. Lovely work. Some things I didn't quite know yet. He gave me the links I needed so that they could show me the other things that needed to be put together with that. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> That's how they do it for me. They get me to research certain things, do certain, look up certain things, and then they'll bring all these things in my head together to give me the bigger picture. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Mm. So, the Iron Age, which is not spoken about. You see, I, yeah. Father and Yeshua brought this up with me before. Iron. Fuck you, bitch. Do you know that it's written in scripture? That the people will pick up their pitchforks. Fuck you, bitch. Old pitchforks were made of iron. Fuck you. If one was to fight, say, a reptilian. Fuck you, bitch. Wouldn't you want the bit of distance between you and that creature? Fuck you, bitch. So a fork would be perfect, would it not? Fuck you, bitch. Why? Fuck you. So the reptilians came up. Fuck you. And tried to squash what was hidden and found and then hidden again. Fuck you, bitch. The people were fighting these reptilians. Isn't it lovely? Their saviors were their downfall. Working for them. Fuck you. Yeah. Their saviors. They came to their aid. Wasn't the, the royal family with the lion crest? Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Fuck. So these saviors over the people. Were they saviors or were they working for them? Fuck you. Because now they had the population at a more controllable level. Yeah, but they didn't. That knowledge kept getting passed on. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Do you know it's written in scripture? Now, I always used to think that we were working on their bones because it's written in scripture that we would walk on top of them. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. That trees and mountains would grow over the top of them. Fuck you, bitch. 
I'd always thought that this was their remains. Yeah. But yeah. Father and Yeshua showed me it's your tunnels. Fuck you, reptilians. Fuck you, bitch. And why do I know these reptilians are there? Under the ground, waiting to come up again. Fuck you, bitch. They've been taking what they need. They create division within society and target the poor areas. Where do all those children go? Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. So the reptilians are under us. And do you know what? I have proof. Fuck you, bitch. Thank you, Shattered Paradise, for listening to Yahweh Yeshua through the rule of Kokodesh and linking it all together. Fuck you, bitch. The Ishtar Gate. Thank you, Satan, for giving yourself up. Fuck you, bitch. Satan, the woman, has played a few different roles. One of those roles at that time in society was one of her animal faces. Fuck you, bitch. Look at the gate. She shows you the tree of life. Satan put in the middle. Satan put herself on the right of that gate with the tree of life in the middle and what is that on the left satan a fucking reptilian fuck you bitch there's one guy fuck you ishtar's time fuck you bitch hmm. then i have to come to another line remember the angels have four faces three are animals one's a human Fuck you, bitch. So Ishtar was the reptilian side, reptilian line of Satan, because Satan had lizard face. So you have lizard cross human. Fuck you, bitch. Ishtar's line. Fuck you, bitch. But Satan's really, yeah. So then we come to another line, because Satan can't help but reveal herself. She wants to know her, but not really know her. Fuck you, bitch. So, I find out Satan has a snake line. Yeah. That you can't see. Yeah. See, over generations and generations, they lose their traits. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, but not the reptilians. Fuck you, bitch. Can't lose a tail. Fuck you, bitch. Oof, you can. Yeah. Just like the wizard. Fuck you, bitch. Grow back again. Fuck you, bitch. Now I see why the scientists were playing with those lizards in their labs, trying to crack the secret of regrowing limbs, wasn't it? Fuck you, bitch. <sighs> it's amazing where you get led. So, yes. Then I come to your third face, Satan, hush down. Because you gave yourself away again. Fuck you. And scriptures give you away. Fuck you, bitch. For Yahweh said you would go about like a roaring lion. Fuck you, bitch. And the Egyptians made a statue of your fallen lion, the Nephilim. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how the royal families of England can date their ancestry back to that lion's line? Fuck you, bitch! Yeah, and I suspect 
you the den of vipers can trace their back line their line back to Ishtar Fuck you bitch Isis Isis Fuck you Thank you The next thing they showed me Fuck you bitch You have a black obsidian rock Satan Hashatan on the Ishtar gate is that correct? Fuck you. So you're allowed to bow Christus too. And what your people like to do. Fuck you, bitch. The black obsidian rock. Which just so happens to be in the holiest place of Islam. Fuck you. What a connection, Satan. Fuck you, bitch. The black obsidian rock too. Fuck you. Know that this is how they communicated. Yeah. Through the black obsidian crystal rock. Fuck you. Yeah. You wish to go through, talk through the dimensions. That is how they did it. Fuck you. Yeah, it's in Islam. On their holy side. Connected to Ishtar, are we? Fuck you! Yeah. yeah. Christmas of all things. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Yes. So yes, then I find out, yeah, see scriptures will tell you the story of really what happened in the book of Enoch, because Satan Ashadam was declared and looked at as the most beautiful, fuck you bitch, Satan Ashadam charmed those fallen angels Deceive them too. See, they didn't even realise she was in their heads. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Oof, I found out today. Today, yesterday. <coughs> and I said, Fuck. Oof. Fuck you. Praise you. Sure. Yahweh. Rural Kakadesh. Fuck you, bitch. So, yes. Have I covered all? Yahweh. You sure? Rural Kakadesh. I'll pause for a second. And I'll check my notes and come back and make sure. Fuck you. Okay. Back again. It looks like I covered all the notes. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, I can say that um, Egypt, the uh, secret societies have been trying to get to the tomb. They believe that Nimrod's tomb. Yeah. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. The feet. They showed me something with the statue. Yeah. So they believe that they are trying to get to Nimrod's body and they can get the DNA. Because Nimrod is related to Ishtar, Satan, Ashtar's line. Yeah. The snake line. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Or the lion. The lion line. Fuck you. That's the lion side. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. But it doesn't make sense because Ishtar, the gate of Ishtar, Satan's got herself as an angel. Then she's got the tree of life. Then she's got a reptilian. Yeah, fuck. So Egypt must have been doing something a little bit different with their worship. Some, the other side, another side of Satan. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Which is the lion face side because of that statue, Nimrod. Yeah, who's believed to be buried in that statue in Egypt. 
and that's why apparently they keep trying to get to it because they believe that they can clone him. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> the father won't let this happen. You know. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> but yes, I did bring up something then. Yeah. But I've lost it again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looks like I may have to come back and do another one now. Don't know. But they also did show me too that Adam and Eve were made in the image of the Elohim of Yahweh. Yeah. They were never white. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. I've suspected for a while that maybe the angels were white skinned. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You can't take it out on us. Like, at the end of the day, we can't choose who our family, who we came from. But we can certainly choose who we are going to be now. Yeah. And that's why I love Yahweh, Yeshua, and the Rukakadesh, because they do give you that opportunity. Yeah. To learn their way, to learn the Father's way through Yeshua. Yeah. Yeah. And as I said before, you, yeah, you brought it up. These things get lost in our... Okay, I did this, I did some research a while back. It was pretty disturbing, this research, because I suppose I've learnt a lot of things that are disturbing, but... Uh, it was all about Australia and when they first settled Australia and who settled Australia, yeah. And it was a... It was similar to a Nazi party, party when we come down to it. Yeah, fuck you, bitch, yeah. When you do your research, yeah. The way they wrote the laws and so forth to keep the Australian Indigenous people out, yeah. Because there was a section in history in Australia where... The Australian Indigenous people were actually doing really well in the community. They were in politics. They were making things, creating things. They were really, yeah, going ahead in leaps and bounds. And then the government implemented new rules, which they implemented this rule called Boundary Road. Fuck you, bitch! So in most of the cities and so forth, you'll have a, a road that goes around the inner city called Boundary Road. The Aboriginals or the Australian Indigenous people were not allowed past this Boundary Road unless they had a piece of paper saying they had permission to go past that section. And if they got caught, yeah, it was pretty horrible. I've worked in community services and one of the things they did was show us old newspaper clippings and they show and they did a lot of research into what was happening really in Australia in those times. Those newspaper clippings were horrible to read because of the way that people viewed the Australian Indigenous people when they first came in. Yeah. I yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Because they were evil in my eyes. Fuck you, bitch! For what they did to the Australian Indigenous people. Mm. Yeah. Not going there. No. They were hard newspaper clippings to read. And I would find myself in tears for hours after reading them. So, yeah, so, yeah, I found out about the history and so forth, and one of these researchers had taken it upon himself to see if he could breed out the Australian Indigenous person within them. So he deliberately crossed them with a white person, and he did find that after the fourth generation, 
there were hardly any elements of the Australian Indigenous person in that person's complexions and features anymore. That's why Australia has a rule that after the fourth generation you're not entitled to any 1% low interest loans. Fuck you, bitch! Because that's what they offer the Australian Indigenous people. Because they took over their land, they turn around and offer them loans at 1%. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they still do that anymore. Yeah. And it's taken us in Australia a long time to understand exactly what they did to the Australian Indigenous people because they tried to hide it. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I am very, very sorry for what our ancestors did to your ancestors. Yeah. And I never want to see that repeated on anyone ever again. Fuck you, bitch. I suppose that's why they got me to learn exactly what did happen so that I could learn and if I've seen it happening in the world, to stop it from ever happening again. Fuck you, bitch. To speak out for the innocent. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't expect to go there. But then I have to come back to, yeah, the fallen angels lines, yeah. It starts to wear off, yeah. The human side comes back more. Because it's written in scripture that it would not cleave. Fuck you, bitch. No immortality passed on from the fallen angels and eventually... Their animals, things that they passed on to us would be left behind, lost, yeah. So then I have to come back to what they showed me a few weeks back, which is going to sound really out there, but to me it's plausible, yeah. And then the submarine incident happened just after I'd found this out, probably a few days later. Fuck you, bitch. I didn't think much of it at the time, so I didn't talk about it. Fuck you. I was discussing Nephilim ones. I was talking about the ocean ones. Fuck you, bitch. Because you got to remember Noah's Ark. Water. Fuck you, bitch. So then they got me thinking about why is it that we've never explored these deepest parts of our oceans. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Then they got me thinking about shark-faced fallen angels, dolphin-faced fallen angels, mermaids. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Mermaids. What is that? It's like... A fish. Not quite sure what type of fish. Yeah. The scales. Look at the scales. They're saying. Fuck you, bitch. Costume. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that they always say that the mermaids were known for their sirens, their songs? Isn't that weird that in scripture the angels are known for their voices? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, it seems that the fallen angels passed on their voice to their offspring. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. So then they got me thinking, because this is, yeah, 
about the offspring of these sea creatures. Yeah. Wouldn't it make sense for them to make themselves a home in the sea? Fuck you, bitch. Somewhere deep that we couldn't find them. Fuck you. Yeah. Who would have thought like Aquaman and that was based on Fuck you, twisted. History. Fuck you, bitch. The future. Fuck you. But then they got me to see that it falls away. So what would happen if, for instance, you had these Nephilim children and they went into this city and then it started falling away and their children's children's children couldn't breathe in the water like they could? Fuck you, bitch. Would they be stuck? And have to create tunnels to get out. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they lose their abilities. Fuck you. Where's off? Yeah, everything. When we mix, like realistically when you think about it, when you look at me, can you tell that I have every different nationality from all over the world in me? Can you spot each different nationality from the world in me. No. They've all mixed together. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Looking at me, where would you say that my ancestors have come from? Because I can tell you now, they've come from everywhere. Fuck you, bitch. Can you pick it? Fuck you, bitch. Bitch. See how they all blend together to make me. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Fuck. Hmm. Fuck you, bitch. Yes. Yes. I will. Yes. Yes. As I said, Adam and Eve were made in the image of the Elam and Yahweh. Yeshua had bronze skin. It's written in scripture. And he gets to see his feet. <laughs> Why is that scene? Yeah. And as they pointed out, I asked, why did the Jews start covering their hair? Well, I already knew. And they get told to cover their hair because the fallen angels could see them from above. Why the Jews? Fuck you, bitch. What made the Jews' hair different? Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. The Jews were brunettes. Fuck you. Mm. Fuck you. Yeah. Which makes sense when you look back over history and you see the people and where they're coming from. Mm. They had to cover their hair. Their hair colour was noticeable by the fallen angels. Remember? They wanted to corrupt the sea, the line. Oof. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's not weird. It's amazing to me where they leave me. And the connections and the things that they get me to see. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Which others may not see, as they just pointed out. Mm. Yeah, I suppose I'm choosing to let them take me where I need to go. And it's taken me a while to get there. Yeah. Because some things are like, why there? <laughs> But you have to trust them and go there. Mm. Mm. You'll see the bigger picture in the end. Yeah. Yep. You want me to give a shout out? Yeah. You sure is loving your work, JWTV. Yeah. Loving your connections. Yeah. Need suppose and all. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. See, I can praise the Father for people. Yeah. That's the way you word it. Yeah. 
yeah and I do and I will praise you Yahweh and praise you Yeshua and praise you Yahweh for your glorious Ruach Kakadesh for all the people that listen to you and Yeshua through the Ruach Kakadesh Yahweh and work for you by spreading your good news and all the links yeah some of it's not good news but then isn't it better to know than to be left in the dark and have this thrust upon you without you knowing fuck you bitch because I've heard a few people get scared when you start <coughs> Yeah, that was, yeah. Don't be scared. You believe in Yahweh, you believe in Yeshua, the real Kakadesh. And it's written in scripture that you have more power in your little finger than all the principalities of darkness. Fuck you, bitch. Remember that? Because of Yahweh, the Father. And Yeshua, he's only been our Hamashiach. And his glorious Ruach Kakadesh, which resides in your heart. Fuck you, bitch! So fear nothing, because anything formed against you in the darkness, Yahweh sees and will deal with. Fuck you! So you put all your worries and fears in their hands, and they will take care of it for you. Fuck you! No need to waste your thoughts. Throw it up to them and let them deal with it for you. And if you need to do something, they'll let you know and throw it back down at you. Yeah, I had to do that a few times. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Maybe it's something that you need to do that you're a little bit scared to do. And remember, scared, fear, that's Satan. Walk through it. Fuck you. Hold on to Yeshua's hand. He'll guide you through anything and everything to get to the Father. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Don't pull him into the darkness, because he won't follow. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think that you can take him for a joyride down Satan's path. He wants nothing to do with Satan and her lies and her deception. Fuck you, bitch. And he won't play her games. Nor will Yahweh. Fuck you, bitch. He'll look away. Fuck you. And his father wrote in scriptures, he will not listen to you. He knows all, he hears all, but he will not listen to you unless you go through Yeshua. Yeah. And you'd better be listening to Yeshua. Yeah. You can't just play along. Father knows all your thoughts, your actions, your deeds, why you do them. Never any excuse. Okay. Go to the Father. See if His Ruach agrees with you. Speak with Yeshua to get the healing that you need. He's a great cook. He's, he's good at everything. Gardening, cooking, whatever you like. <laughs> yep. Knows it all. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my headphones are falling off. Yeah. Oh, give me a sec. But yes, he knows it all. He teaches me everything. Mm. 
yeah, teaching, teaching, teaching. Sometimes he gets me to, for instance, I had to learn how to do 12 volt wiring for a motorhome. How to do electrical boards and electrical switches and lights. Yeah. I was very scared at first fear. <laughs> but you sure got me to go, no, no, no. We're going to go YouTube people doing that. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> so I YouTubed a lot of people who taught me with your sure and your way through the rural Kakadesh how to do 12 volt wiring for a motorhome mark yeah it works <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of it anymore I'm willing to try new things I'm moving on to 240 volt next <laughs> only three wires <laughs> Positive, negative, and earth. <laughs> Big rule they taught me. Always connect negative first. <laughs> Fuck you. And when disconnecting, disconnect positive first. <laughs> I may have forgotten once and sparked a few things. Blew up nothing. I was all good. I thought I'd turned it off and disconnected it from the battery, but turns out I was holding on to a main line. Ha <laughs> ha, cute! <laughs> main line. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm a lot more focused now. <laughs> Make sure I cover the wires. As soon as I disconnected me from doing anything, <laughs> everything's turned off at the power box. And if need be, Disconnect those battery leads. But remember, if they're connected, positive comes off first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if we're connecting, then negative goes off first. <laughs> then it won't spark it. <laughs> okay. you, bitch. Things I have to learn. <laughs> I have learned 12 by wiring now though. Yeah. Okay. I had half of a December. <laughs> so I just had to, I looked at a lot of things, but then I was a bit doubtful about their wiring. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I found a 12 volt socket. Yeah. Coming off the 240 volt line. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. That was not good. <laughs> so I thought I'd better start YouTubing and learning for myself to make sure that what they had done was actually correct. Some of the things I did know were not correct at all. Fuck. Very dangerous, yeah. <laughs> so glad I learned. Yeah, I disconnected that one from the 240 volt. Yeah, you can't just plug in a DC 12 volt charger. Yeah, <laughs> cigarette lighter into 240 volts. That's not on. No. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I wonder why it never worked. Fuck. <laughs> I found out. <laughs> yeah. Wrong way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. We've, we've taken it back to basics now. Even brought some new wires. <laughs> Cute. Fuck. Yeah. <coughs> Slowly getting there. I've. Yeah. I was down here, I fixed the roof, stopped the leaks, yeah. insulated it to keep it warm. Then I had to move down to the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Had a few things unfold down there, so I had to move down that way and focus on that area first. 
which is three quarters of the way yeah, finished. Yeah, fuck. Mm. I had to take it all out. <laughs> no, I'm Lane Carpentry, yeah. Thank you, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put a new fridge in, wired that in, made a new cabinet, put new benches on, yeah. We brought some big tabletop benches, quite cheap. What was a Acacia wood, yeah, teak oiled, yeah. So they're like 2.2 metres long by 60 centimetres wide, yeah. So then I had them cut up, and made me bench for my kitchen, and then the bench goes up and over the fridge. <laughs> yep. Then, with the leftovers, I actually got two pieces in the end because I really liked it. <laughs> Looks really nice, yeah. <laughs> So I thought, let's keep that thing going. I like that wood. Quite cheap. Mm. So I waited a month. Yeah. I brought another piece. And now I've got flip up benches because I don't like things over the top of me in case they fall. Yeah. So I've made seats, as we said. You should have been teaching me carpentry as well through YouTube and things I've learned in the past through watching people. Mm. So I've made, made bench seats and we flip them up with the tabletop thing and you can put all your clothes down i've done it on the bed so there are also seats yeah so you can sit on the wood you can get up and flip it up and put your clothes in there yep made one down in the kitchen for all my food did a kitchen bench and we did buy a cabinet yeah to put underneath that it was drawers already assembled it was actually on special kmart <laughs> Clearance item, and I thought, oh, perfect. Fits. <laughs> well, it didn't actually, yeah. We had to modify it. Mm. Originally, it had two big drawers down the bottom and two little drawers. Yeah, it wouldn't fit. So now it has two big drawers on one side and two little drawers on the other. Let's cut it and make it different. So it's unique. <laughs> It works. <laughs> Ooh, they're just plastic tubs. They go in. Mm. So I've still got some boards, doors to put on. Yeah, partially done the shower tour. Yeah, but praise be to our issue and real Kakadesh. You see these things that I need. I seem to go into the shopping centres and they're always half price or on special when I need them. <laughs> they keep giving me bargains. <laughs> I couldn't afford me tiles. I was looking at 3D stick-on tiles for the old chow because it's covered in this laminate and it's pink and it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, let's liven it up on the cheap, but it'll look good. Mm. So I found 3D stick-on tiles. Yeah. Went in there. I dip on Subway. Maybe that was me and you should in. <laughs> yeah. Ended up with... Hexagon, white ones. They'll have price. Cut them off for half price. So, really cheap in the end. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. It always seems to happen. Every time I need something, I look online. Oh, half price. Fuck you. Or clearance sale. Fuck you. But it's things I really need at the time. Mm. Look, the laminate in there looks ugly and it's a bit dirty. Yeah. And i got to trim it up and cut it up in places. So with this stick-on pile, it will virtually go straight on there and it will look like expensive tile boards. Yeah. For $72. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would have paid about $150, $160 for those stick-on tires normally. They were still cheap in my eyes, but if I got them half price, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, they look quite good actually. You should check them out. Mm. Yeah. Technically, I can't tire in here. 
proper tyres. Because they'd fall off when I'm driving. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. I looked at tile, laminate board. Yeah. I can't afford $460 for one board. And technically, I would have had to buy two or three boards to finish it all. I would have been looking at $1,500. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. $1,572. Fuck <laughs> you. And I bet you when I'm finished, you can't tell. Fuck you! <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll let you in on a bit of what's been happening around me. Look, I started out with mechanical problems about six months ago. I thought I'd take two weeks. I'm still here. Fuck you! Hoping that I'm going to be on the road again. Fuck you. <laughs> it's been good, but <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Fuck you, bitch. Sorry. I believe that's it. Yep. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, my water pump blew up the other day too. Because I've been having solar battery problems because I'm not facing the right direction. Yeah. And usually when your solar batteries get down a bit, you could start your engine up. Fuck. Not been able to do that lately. But, praise the Yahweh. They got me to... I've got a solar blanket that I set up at the front, but you can only catch the daylight or the sun really till about lunchtime, one o'clock, yeah. And then I really need it up the back. So they inspired me to think outside the box. And while I got the top panels off, I've went and brought myself a 50 amp 12 volt cable five meters long so that I'm going to put it in the ceiling and it's going to come through the ceiling and then drop down to the back window and pull up to the front where I put connected into the charging pack that way I can unplug my solar blanket from the front which is a 300 watt solar blanket it's really good yeah and I can move that and put it to the back yeah and connect it to the back so that then I won't have to take my solar blanket out and have to move it around. I can just leave it up the front windscreen in the mornings and move it to the back windscreen of the afternoons without moving cords around. Yeah, fuck. I thought it was in a, gen a genius idea of your shoes for me to do. But then I had to learn how to solder. Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah, because the Anderson plugs... They're not just a crimple one like I've been doing with all my 12 volt wiring yet. Because you only had to crimp, or crimp the clamps on for the wiring. But with this, I had to go out and buy a solder and thankfully they found me one on special. YouTube's a lot of people soldering things. Yeah. Still a little bit hesitant and it's taken me a week to get to it. Thank <laughs> you. But I know I can do it. I've watched a lot of people. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> can I do it? Yeah, fuck you. If you're sure and you always help, and they're all cock edge. Yes. Mm. Look, if I had to... I, I brought all the materials. Because this is what they get me to do. Mm. Could have brought it. Mate. Yeah, but then I would have had trouble putting it in my walls too. Mm. So I, I think it was about, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> now, because <laughs> I looked up that, mm. it's about 80 bucks. Mm. So I went out and I brought all the bits and pieces myself. Yeah, thinking I could do it on the cheap, make it myself. Yeah, only cost me about $36. Yeah. Yeah. Then I realised I have to buy a solder. <laughs> yeah. 
I may be able to use that solder in the future though. <laughs> Cute. I think it cost me the same. <laughs> Nant. Fuck you. But <laughs> I now have a solder eyes. Which I can use for wood burning and all sorts of things I found out. Mm. So I shall have fun with the solder. <laughs> Once I use it and get good at it, <laughs> yes. <laughs> learning all the time. Mm. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, they got me learning everything. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I have to choose to pull myself out of this situation. Yeah. So I have to learn. I don't have to learn these things, but I'm choosing to. Because they have shown me a way that I can pull myself out of the poor situation that I'm in at the moment. Yeah. By restoring old motorhomes, yeah. I know I can do it. And if I can do this one, I can resell it and keep doing it. Yeah. And financially support myself by selling them and doing them up. It's a way to provide myself with a secure future and a way that I don't have to rely on the government or other people mm. to be self-sufficient. Yeah. Thinking outside the box, I never thought that I would be renovating motorhomes in order to provide myself with a secure financial future. Yeah. But these are the things that one has to do in order to survive. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. And they're helping me to see that I can have that financial secure future. Yeah. Sorry. By learning a few new things. Yeah. This way I... um get to be my own boss, have my own schedule, do things for them while renovating up motorhomes to unsell to people while waiting for Yeshua to arrive in the flesh. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. So I look at this as I would do it for myself. Yeah, so no shortcuts. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Because I know that they watch and see everything. So I have to make sure it's sealed up. All the rust is killed. It's sealed. It's completely put back together properly. Yeah. So that when I sell it to the next person, I know that I am giving them something safe and secure that they would want me to live in. Fuck you, bitch! Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll start again on something much smaller and newer because the lesson learned in this was I didn't research enough about motorhomes before I purchased this. And I should have looked at the engine and where the parts would be easy to access if I needed them. Because that's something that's been the hardest thing with this. The engine broke and it was an old engine. It was a Toyota Coaster 20R engine. Yeah. And they have no 20R engines here in Australia anymore for the Toyota Coaster because it was imported from India. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. So I couldn't find a head. Luckily enough, yeah, the mechanic that's working on it does know his stuff, yeah, and you can put a 22R head on a 20R bottom, yeah, So they've combined those together 
but there was a few issues in connecting the running gear, gearbox, exhaust inlet, carburetor. Fuck you, bitch! I've had to learn this all, and I knew it previously. So, yeah. I was with a motor mechanic for 11 years, yeah. Fuck you, bitch! Yeah, it's the father of my kids, yeah. So, all these things didn't fit, but luckily enough, when we thought that the road had ended and could get these parts, fuck you, bitch. I believe you are, aren't you sure? Yeah, through the Royal Kakadesh, magically made these parts appear. Fuck you. Through some old man who had them sitting in his shed, who just happened to be there and hear about it and ask the right questions and yeah so it's all come back together i'm waiting on one fuel hose fuck you bitch yeah that's it i'm at the point now where i'm ready to pull the bonnet myself because i took photos of it when i was pulling it apart yeah just in case i don't know why but they got me to take photos of all of that just in case I had to put it back together myself. Fuck you, bitch. Turns out those photos proved to be saving grace in the end, yeah. Because it was a little bit of a complication of not knowing where the inlet fuel came out of the carburetor and into the engine, yeah. But I took Yahweh, Yeshua, through the rural Kakadesh. Got me to take even photos of it at the start, didn't they? Fuck you, bitch. Easy now. Fuck you! Yeah. Oh, I'm so lucky I listened to them with that. You yeah. fuck! <laughs> yeah. So that is one thing they've got me to do. As I do pull things apart in this, and I've been learning, I take photos of every single step that I do. Yeah. So that I can go back through the photos every step to redo what I just done done. Yeah. Just in case. The same lies to fuck with my head. Fuck you, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You sure got me to do those things, Tiawa? You sure I threw the little cockadash? Yeah. I've been having a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm doing a lot more than what I ever thought. Yeah. Yeah, the curtains I sew. Yeah. I've been sewing since I was a kid. So, I did it all by hand. I don't have the money to afford machines and things like that. So, I do it myself. Fuck you! Yeah. Which has expanded my worldview because the things that people would normally get someone else, pay someone else to do, I've had to do for myself and learn for myself. And... It's very rewarding in doing it and learning it, yeah. Some things I had fear around, but that was saying much time, yeah. And, you know, like, electricity, you'd hear stories and there's a few bad stories from, yeah, my past. So I do, I did have a little bit of fear around electricity, yeah. But they got me to research the crap out of it, yeah. <laughs> so, until I was comfortable with what I was about to do, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of it is conquering one's fears in one's head, which is so much done. Telling you, you can't do that. But you can. You can learn anything. Fuck you, bitch! Yeah. Hmm. All right, we're gonna leave you with that one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Have fun. They've told me to cook. They've told me carpentry, electricity, spiritual warfare tactics. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. <laughs> The list goes on. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> A lot of fun.
<laughs> Fuck you, bitch. I know. It's, it's not a very nice way to talk to someone, is it? Fuck you, bitch. I do tend to not hear it anymore. It's like when you got children. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of parents call me then, yeah. <laughs> you can learn to drown them out. Fuck you. <laughs> well, the kids can be quite loud, yeah. And when you're a parent and you're in somewhere and you're trying to focus and do something, you can learn to cut all the noise out and focus on what you're doing, yeah. You hear noises that shouldn't be there. <laughs> I'm thinking a lot of parents are hearing me right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, are you sure? We'll leave you with that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Please, shall we? Yeah. Left hand down, right hand up. Please, shall we? In Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kodesh, shall we? They have been getting me to do that lately when I pray. When I praise them. Left hand down, right hand up. Mm. So please, Yahweh, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kodesh, Yahweh, could you please, Yahweh, forgive your creation as debts, as we your creation forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Yahweh, for Zion is the power and the glory forever and ever, Yahweh. And Yahweh, please, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kodesh, Yahweh, could you let your wrath against Satan hush down, the beast of Babylon. Fuck you, bitch. Be completed here on earth as it is in the mouthhood of you, Yahweh. Yes. Fuck you. And please, Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh will. Yahweh will. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck <laughs> you. It's written in scripture. <laughs> Keeps his promises. Yeah. So please, Yahweh, in Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kodesh, Yahweh, could you please watch over and protect us, all those who wish to follow Yeshua to you, Yahweh. In Yeshua's mighty Kodesh name, and by the power of your mighty rule, Kakadesh, Yahweh. And by the most powerful of all, Yahweh. However, Yahweh, El Elohim, and Yahweh, Ahar. Thank you. They love you all. I love you all. And thank you.